Hey everyone, welcome back to Mastering the SAT. It's your favorite duo, Alex and Taylor. What's poppin' fam? Hope you're all crushing it today. For sure. So Taylor, you ready to dive into some math magic? Oh, you know it. Math problems can be a whole mood. But with the right tricks up our sleeves, they're totally manageable. All right, let's kick things off with some legit tips for tackling math problems on the SAT. Let's do it. First up, always start by jotting down what you know. Like, list out the given info and what the question's asking for. Mm-hmm, that helps a lot. Exactly. Also, keep those formulas on lock. The SAT loves to test if you know your basic formulas. Hundo P. And if you get stuck, try to break the problem into smaller parts. It's all about that step-by-step -step grind. No cap, sometimes the problem seems wild until you dissect it. Couldn't agree more. So, shall we put these tips into action with a spicy problem? Let's get it. All right, so we've got this problem about two right circular cylinder. Let's call them cylinder P and cylinder Q. Got it. Cylinder P has a volume of 256 pi cubic units and a radius of 8 units. Cylinder Q has a volume of 8,192 pi cubic units. Okay. If their surface areas are k pi and n pi square units respectively, we need to find the value of n minus k. Sounds like a whole adventure. Let's dive in. So starting with cylinder P. We know the volume formula for a cylinder is volume equals pi times radius squared times height. Yup, V equals pi r squared h. Right, and we've got the volume V sub P equals 256 pi. And the radius r sub P equals 8 units. Plugging in those values. So, 256 pi equals pi times 8 squared times h sub p. Simplify that. 8 squared is 64. So, we have 256 pi equals pi times 64 times h sub p. Let's divide both sides by pi to keep it clean. Good call. That gives us 256 equals 64 times h sub p. Then solve for h sub p by dividing both sides by 64. So h sub p equals 256 divided by 64, which is uh, 4 units. Sweet. Now, let's find the surface area of cylinder p. The surface area formula is s equals 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r squared. Plugging in the values. s sub p equals 2 pi times 8 times 4 plus 2 pi times 8 squared. Let's simplify. 2 pi times 32 plus... 2 pi times 64, which is 64 pi plus 128 pi, totaling 192 pi. So k equals 192. All right, your turn, Taylor. Bet. Take it away. So for cylinder Q, we have the volume V sub Q equals 8,192 pi cubic units. We need to find its radius and height. Exactly. Maybe let's assume the radius R sub Q is double that of cylinder P. So R sub Q equals 16 units. Yeah, let's test it out. Using the volume formula, 8,192 pi equals pi times 16 squared times h sub q. Simplify 16 squared, which is 256. So we have 8,192 pi equals pi times 256 times h sub q. Let's divide both sides by pi. Right, that gives us 8,192 equals 256 times h sub q. Then solve for h sub q by dividing both sides by 256. So h sub q equals 8,192 divided by 256, which is, wait, 32 units. Nice. Now let's find the surface area of cylinder Q using the formula S equals 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r squared. Plug in the values. S sub Q equals 2 pi times 16 times 32 plus 2 pi times 16 squared. Simplify that. 2 pi times 512 plus 2 pi times 256. Which is 1,024 pi plus 512 pi. Totaling uh, 1,536 pi. So n equals 1,536. Now let's find n minus k. n minus k equals 1,536 minus 192. Calculating that gives us 1,344. Boom! The answer is 1,344. Which corresponds to option A. Let's go! We nailed it. So breaking it down step by step made it way easier, For right? For sure. And assuming the radius of cylinder Q was double, that of cylinder P was a clutch move. Yeah, sometimes spotting patterns or relationships can save you time, time and effort. Also, double checking each calculation helps avoid those big yikes moments with careless errors. Dead ass. Nothing worse than making a tiny mistake that throws off the whole problem. Right. So there you have it. A detailed walkthrough on tackling a geometry problem with cylinders. Hopefully this helps you feel more confident when you face similar questions. Remember, 
Practice and staying chill are key. Absolutely. Keep grinding, and don't hesitate to revisit foundational concepts. And always keep those formulas handy. Facts. They're your best friends during the test. If you found this episode helpful, share it with your study squad. And slide into our DMs with any questions or topics you want us to cover next. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. Stay awesome, and keep pushing towards your goals. Until next time, keep it real, and keep hustling. Peace out, fam. Later. Later.